Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing with you a little mini album I made for my daughter that has photos of her and my granddaughter in it. I have had this ready-made album for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I can't even remember buying it. To decorate the album, I'm going to use Uniquely Creative's Ocean Breeze 6-inch paper pack from my design team kit from Mystical Scrapbooks. I'll put a link in the description box below to the products I have used. The theme for this month is flowers and hearts so I will be using a piece of memory maze crisscross hearts chipboard to embellish my album as well. I don't end up using the lace The little album measures five and a quarter by five and one eighth so I chose five pattern papers from my pad and I trimmed them down to five and one eighth by five and then I inked around the edge of all of them. Now to put this photo in the middle I need to cut my front piece of paper so I've temporarily tacked that inside of my little window and I'm going to just draw around that with a pencil. Once I've got that marked I use a Spellbinders S6-025 squares die, the smallest one in that set, to cut a piece out of the center of this pattern paper. This will give me a little pink border around my photo. I'm also going to use the same die to cut my photo to the right size. Unfortunately I've lost the footage here but what I've done is I've stuck the photo behind the square and then I've stuck the back of that in place. Then I have used my glue to attach all of the pattern papers to all of the pages. My next job is to cut my photos to size. photos are all different sizes I haven't bothered to try and make them the same size. Um, I used an emery board and filed around the edge of each of my photos and then I've inked the edges uh, with my black ink cube. I also inked the edges of all of the pattern papers before I attached them to the album as well. I assembled my photos so that they're roughly in age starting from the oldest photo going up to the most recent photo and I've attached double-sided tape to the back of each one of those photos and I'm now just going to attach them to the four inside pages of the album. I'm going to use the creative cuts to embellish my photos. I fossick around through here and decide what ones I want to use and and where I want to place them and um, I am not a big fan of the white border that they put around these cuts so I have fussy cut each and every one of these um, embellishments and inked around the edge of them all and now I'm going to just use my glue to attach them to my pages. Several of my embellishments are little tags so I'm going to use some of this crochet cotton in white and just thread that through each tag so that it's got a little bit of dimension. Because this is like a concertina fold album I can't really afford to put a lot of dimension on each page so I'm trying to keep it reasonably flat. This particular photo was taken at the beach so I'm quite happy to use the seaside um, embellishments for this page. Mm -hmm. 
to colour the chipboard hearts that I'm going to put on the front of the cover and also the title I'm going to use some acrylic paint called Apricot Reserves I'm going to give it a nice good coat of um, paint so that it's evenly covered While I'm waiting for that to dry I'm going to continue embellishing each of my little pages um, there's quite a lot of to and froing here and um, I s attach some embellishments and then I go off and paint my heart and then I come back and put some more embellishments on and then go and paint my um, title. The title actually is uh, made using Kaiser Crafts Alpha Chipboards number two, uppercase, lowercase and numbers. I've had those for ages as well. They probably don't even make them anymore. But, uh, yeah, very handy. Anyway, so, yeah, mostly now uh, you'll just see me decorating. I'll put um, some music on and put it on fast forward. To add a little bit of sparkle, I add some of the uniquely creative pink rhinestones here and there. I'm not very good at um, playing with these. They're too small and fiddly and I always lose them and they never go on the way I want them to go on and they're always upside down. But eventually I did get them in the position I wanted and I placed some uh, sort of throughout my album. To add a bit of shine to the front of my little album, I have used Dimensional Magic, some people call it glossy accents, it's really the same thing, um, to all of the pieces of chipboard that I painted. I found a little packet of um, embellishments that I'd cut apart uh, from the Gums and Roses collection and I thought that they fitted in quite nicely with this so I went through my album once again and attached a few more um, little embellishments. I also added a gem to each one of those pennants. So that completes my little album today. I really enjoyed making this. Um, it was something a little bit different and I didn't have to actually create the album to start with so that was a bonus. You will see some close-ups now um, of each of the pages. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and um, don't forget that over at uh, Mystical Scrapbooks this month, February, they have got the theme of hearts and flowers. So pop over there and check it out. I will put a link in the description box below. There are prizes up for grabs, so give it a go. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you can join me when I post my next video. Bye.